If you have purchased a PDF pattern from Peony Patterns through the Peony Patterns website, here are a few tips on then how to open, save and print that pattern. So I'm on the Peony Patterns website's homepage now and I'm going to go ahead and access my account by clicking my name up here on the top right corner. If you haven't yet logged into your account, you can go ahead and do that in this exact same section. That will now load this next screen with our order history showing all of the patterns that we have previously purchased. So we can now go ahead and click on one of our order numbers that we are needing the pattern from. Scrolling down and this will now show us the pattern that we had purchased in this transaction with the option to download here. So we can now click on that. And that will now load this next screen showing all of the different files available to download for this particular pattern. The first one is an AO copy shop file. Then we have a print at home file and a projector file. So firstly, the AO copy shop one is an AO size document that you can take to a copy shop and have printed as one large document rather than actually having to print and assemble your pattern at home with A4 pages. Then we have our print at home file, which is the one that we will be printing at home ourselves. And then a projector file. So if you own a projector, you can go ahead and use that one instead. So we can now go ahead and download our files. So you can do this by either just downloading the print at home file separately by clicking this individual arrow. Alternatively, you can download all of those files by clicking download all. Or if you do use Dropbox, you can save them automatically all to your Dropbox. I'm going to be clicking download all just to download them all simultaneously. And you will now notice they will start popping up here whilst downloading. Once they have finished, we can now see all of the three different files here. So I'm going to go ahead and click open file on the print at home version. And that will now open our PDF pattern. So once that has now opened, we need to make sure that that has opened in Adobe Acrobat Reader, not just another internet browser. And once that has opened in the correct program, we are now ready to go ahead and save our pattern to our own computer. So we are going to do that by heading to the top left of the screen and clicking File, heading down to Save As, and then choosing the destination that we would like to save our pattern to and clicking Save. Once you have saved the pattern to your own computer, you can head back to your internet browser and continue opening and saving the remaining files using the exact same method if you wish. Now heading back into Adobe, we are going to be now printing our pattern. So personally, I like to just print my actual pattern pieces off and not the entire pattern with the instructions included. If you would like to print the entire pattern, you can definitely go ahead and do that though. If you are wanting to only print the pattern pieces, we are now going to locate those and find exactly what pages we need to print. So I'm going to scroll down through the pattern. Until we reach where the actual pattern pieces start. So they are starting on page 40. And continue through to page 49. So now to print those, we are going to head back up to file then scrolling down to print. Now, because I like to only just print my pattern pieces, I'm only going to be printing those pages. So to do that, you can click on pages and then I'm going to type in page 40 through to page 49. If you would like to print the whole entire document though, with instructions included, simply skip that step and leave as is on all that way it will print the whole entire document for you. As I said, I like to just print those certain pages. So I'm going to stick with that. And then that will print just my pattern pieces off. Next, you'll need to make sure that you are clicking actual size so that the pattern is printed at the correct scale. Then just below that, you'll notice the option to choose paper source by PDF page size. 
you want to make sure that that box is left unchecked. Then just below that, you have the option to change the orientation. You want to make sure that auto is selected and then you can go ahead and click print. So now the printing of your pattern is underway. Now, if you do have any problems when printing and you notice that your pattern is printed with any jagged edges or any of those curved lines aren't smooth like they should be, there is an easy solution to fix that. And this can sometimes be a more common occurrence with some HP printers. So if that does happen, we can just head back to print as we did before, choosing the exact same settings again making sure the actual size is selected and auto is selected and this box here is left unchecked. To fix those printing issues, you can simply just click up here to advanced and select print as image, okay, and then print again as usual. And if you did have any of those issues when printing originally, that should now rectify all of those problems. Now you will notice when printing a majority of patterns by Peony patterns that a lot of larger pattern pieces and rectangle shapes are not included in those pattern pieces to print and that is because they are actually within the pattern itself. So if you scroll through the pattern, you will locate a page with cutting charts. So for this particular pattern, it is on page 13. So this is where you'll find the cutting charts with all measurements provided to cut any skirts and other rectangle pieces like ruffles and plackets as well to save these pattern pieces needing to be printed. So I hope that has now helped answer any questions that you may have had when it came to opening, saving and also printing your PDF pattern by Peony Patterns. You will now have your pattern printed, ready to assemble and then sew.